Whatever you do, do it 100%. These words might seem simple, but they carry a profound truth that can transform your life. I'm not talking about perfection or burning yourself out. I'm talking about giving your all to what truly matters. This principle aligns beautifully with Stoic philosophy, an ancient wisdom more relevant today than ever. Imagine you're at a crossroads in your life. Maybe you're stuck in a job you hate, struggling in a relationship, or facing an impossible challenge. You have two choices. You can half-heartedly go through the motions, or you can commit yourself fully to addressing the situation. The Stoics would argue that the latter is preferable and essential for a life well lived. But why? Why should we give 100% in a world that often seems indifferent to our efforts? To answer this, let's take a journey through the lens of Stoicism and explore how this ancient philosophy can guide us in modern times. First, let's clear up a common misconception. Stoicism isn't about suppressing emotions or enduring hardship with a stiff upper lip. It's about understanding what's within our control and what isn't, and acting with virtue and reason in facing life's challenges. The Stoics believed that true happiness comes not from external circumstances, but from our actions and attitudes. Now think about the last time you gave something your all. It could be a project at work, a personal goal, or even just making dinner for your family. How did it feel? There's a unique satisfaction in knowing you've done your absolute best, regardless of the outcome. This satisfaction is what the Stoics would call living by virtue. But let's be honest, giving 100% isn't always easy. We live in a world of distractions where it's tempting to spread ourselves thin or take the path of least resistance. So why bother? Because when we commit fully to something, we tap into a wellspring of inner strength and resilience. Consider the story of Viktor Frankl, a psychiatrist who survived the Nazi concentration camps. In his book, Man's Search for Meaning, Frankl describes how he found purpose and maintained his humanity in the most horrific circumstances imaginable. He didn't just survive, he gave 100% to helping others and maintaining his dignity. This is the power of full commitment. It can sustain us even in our darkest hours. Now, you might be thinking, that's all well and good, but I'm not facing anything that extreme. And you're right, most of us aren't. But the principle applies just as much to our everyday challenges. Whether you're trying to advance in your career, improve your relationships, or simply become a better version of yourself, giving 100% can make all the difference. Let's break this down into practical terms. Say you're in a job you don't particularly like. You have two options. You can do the bare minimum to get by, or you can give it your all. The first option might seem easier in the short term, but comes with a hidden cost. You're not just underperforming at work, you're reinforcing a habit of half-hearted effort that can seep into other areas of your life. On the other hand, if you commit to giving 100%, something interesting happens. You might not suddenly fall in love with your job, but you'll likely find aspects of it that you can improve or excel at. This not only makes your daily experience more engaging, but it also opens up new opportunities. Your increased effort might lead to a promotion or give you the confidence to seek a job that aligns with your passions. The same principle applies to relationships. How many of us go through the motions in our interactions with loved ones? We nod along during conversations while our minds are elsewhere. We make promises we don't fully intend to keep. We avoid difficult conversations because they're, well, tricky. But imagine if you gave 100% to your relationships. What would that look like? It means being fully present with someone, listening to understand rather than waiting for your turn to speak. It might mean following through on your commitments, even when it's inconvenient. It might mean having those tough conversations 
and approaching them with honesty and compassion. The results can be transformative, relationships deepen, trust grows. You create a support network that can sustain you through life's ups and downs. The Stoics meant this when they talked about living in harmony with others, not just coexisting, but genuinely connecting. Now let's talk about personal development. We all have dreams and aspirations, but how often do we give 100% to achieving them? It's easy to make excuses. I'm too busy. I'm not talented enough. It's too late to start. These are the voices of fear and complacency, the enemies of growth. The Stoics would argue that these external factors, time, talent, circumstances, are largely outside our control. Our effort, attitude and commitment to improvement are in our control. So, if you want to learn a new skill, write a book, start a business, or whatever your personal goal might be, the question isn't, can I? The question is, am I willing to give 100%? This means you'll need more time to achieve your goals. It doesn't even guarantee you'll achieve them at all. But by giving 100%, you ensure that you're making the most of your potential. You're living up to your standards, not anyone else's. Think about it this way. Success isn't just the result. It's about who you become in the process of pursuing your goals. When you give 100%, you develop discipline, resilience, and self-respect. These qualities serve you well, no matter what life throws your way. But let's address the elephant in the room. Giving 100% can be scary. It means putting yourself out there, risking failure, and facing your fears head on. It's much safer to hold back, to always have the excuse of, well, I didn't try my hardest. This is where the Stoic concept of Amor Fati, the love of fate, comes in handy. The idea is not just to accept whatever happens, but to embrace it as if it were exactly what you wanted. This doesn't mean being passive. It means giving your all and accepting the results with grace and composure. Imagine approaching a challenge, a job interview, a difficult conversation or a personal goal with this mindset. You prepare thoroughly, give it your absolute best effort, and then you let go. You've done what you can. Whatever the outcome, you know you've acted with integrity and in alignment with your values. This attitude frees you from the paralysis of perfectionism. You're not giving 100% because you're guaranteed a specific outcome. You're doing it because it's the right thing to do. After all, it's how you want to live your life. I can almost hear some of you thinking, but what about burnout? Isn't giving 100% all the time exhausting? It's a valid concern, and it brings us to an important distinction. Giving 100% doesn't mean working yourself to the bone or neglecting other aspects of your life. It means being fully present and committed to what you're doing. Think about it like this. When you're at work, you give 100% to your tasks. When you're with your family, you give 100% of your attention to them. When you're exercising, you put 100% effort into your workout. It's not about constant frenzied activity. It's about the quality of engagement. This approach helps prevent burnout. When you're fully engaged in what you're doing, you're more efficient, you make fewer mistakes, and you find more satisfaction in your actions. All of this adds up to less stress and more fulfillment. But let's be honest, giving 100% isn't always easy. Life throws curveballs. We face setbacks, disappointments, and sometimes outright failure. How do we maintain our commitment in the face of adversity? This is where the stoic practice of negative visualization comes in handy. It might sound pessimistic, but bear with me. The idea is to imagine losing what you value, your job, health and relationships, not to make yourself miserable, but to appreciate what you have more deeply. When you do this, two things happen. First, you become more grateful for what you have right now. Second, 
You become more resilient when faced with actual setbacks. You've already imagined the worst, so you're better prepared to handle whatever comes your way. Let's say you're working hard on a project at work. You're giving it your all, but despite your best efforts, it doesn't turn out as well as you'd hoped. At that moment, you have a choice. You can get discouraged and pull back, or view it as an opportunity to learn and grow. The Stoic approach would ask yourself, what can I learn from this? How can I use this experience to improve? This doesn't mean you don't feel disappointed. It means you don't let that disappointment define you or deter you from continuing to give your best effort. Remember, giving 100% isn't about the outcome. It's about the process. It's about who you become when you commit fully to something. Each time you give your all, you're building character. You're becoming more resilient, more capable, and more true to yourself. Now let's talk about how this principle applies in different areas of life. We've touched on work and relationships, but what about personal development? This is an area where giving 100% can have truly transformative effects. You may come from a background where resources were limited. You didn't have the best education or the most supportive environment. It's easy to use these circumstances as excuses I can't succeed because I didn't have the same advantages as others. But here's the thing. While we can't control the circumstances we're born into, we can control how we respond to them. Giving 100% means making the most of whatever resources you have. It means being willing to work harder, learn more, and push yourself further than others might expect. Think about some of the most successful people in history Many of them came from humble beginnings. What set them apart wasn't their initial circumstances. It was their willingness to give 100% to their goals and dreams. They didn't let setbacks define them. Instead, they used every challenge as an opportunity to grow stronger and more determined. This is the Stoic way. It's about using every experience, good or bad, to become a better person. Perfection is about effort. It's about bringing your full self to whatever you do, regardless of the outcome. In fact, if you're giving 100%, you're likely to make more mistakes, not fewer. Why? Because you're pushing yourself, trying new things, and stepping out of your comfort zone. The key is to view these mistakes not as failures, but as learning opportunities. Each mistake and setback is a chance to gain new knowledge, refine your approach, and grow stronger and more capable. Remember, the Stoics emphasized focusing on what's within our control. We can't control outcomes, but we can control our efforts. When you give 100%, you take full responsibility for the only thing you can control, yourself. Let's delve deeper into how giving 100% can transform various aspects of your life. We've touched on work, relationships, and personal development, but there's much more to explore. Consider your health and well-being. Many of us have a complicated relationship with our health. We know we should eat better, exercise more, and get enough sleep, but it's easy to make excuses and put off these important habits for another day. What would it look like to give 100% to your health? It doesn't mean becoming a fitness fanatic or following an extreme diet. It means fully committing to taking care of yourself day in and day out. It means making conscious choices about what you eat, prioritizing physical activity and getting enough rest. When you give 100% to your health, you're not just improving your physical condition, you're investing in your future you're giving yourself the energy and vitality to pursue your other goals. You're building discipline and self-respect that spill over into other areas of your life. The key is that giving 100% to your health doesn't mean never indulging in a treat or beating yourself up if you miss a workout. It means being fully present and intentional in your choices. It means treating your body with respect and care, not out of obligation, but because you value yourself. Now, let's talk about creativity and passion projects. 
Many of us have dreams or hobbies that we never fully pursue. Maybe you've always wanted to write a novel, start a podcast, learn to paint, or play an instrument. But these dreams often get pushed to the back burner as we deal with the demands of daily life. Giving 100% to your passions means carving out time and energy for them, even when it's inconvenient. It means treating your creative pursuits with the same seriousness you bring to your job or other responsibilities. Imagine if you gave 100% to your passion project. Maybe you wake up an hour earlier each day to work on your novel. Maybe you dedicate your weekends to practicing your instrument. It might be challenging at first, but as you fully commit, you'll likely find a sense of fulfillment you've been missing. Remember, giving 100% doesn't mean your creative works must be perfect. It doesn't even mean they must be good, especially at first. What it means is that you're fully engaging in the process, learning, growing and expressing yourself authentically. Let's shift gears and talk about civic engagement and community involvement. In our busy lives, it's easy to become isolated and focus solely on our concerns. But humans are social creatures and we thrive when connected to a larger community. Giving 100% to your community might mean volunteering for a cause you care about. It might mean getting involved in local politics or community organizations. It might simply mean being a good neighbor, looking out for others, and contributing to the well-being of your local area. When you give 100% to your community, you're not just helping others, you're expanding your world. You're building connections, gaining new perspectives, and contributing to something larger than yourself. This can bring a sense of purpose and fulfillment that's hard to find elsewhere. Now, let's address a critical point. Giving 100% doesn't mean spreading yourself thin. In fact, it often means the opposite. It means being selective about where you put your energy so you can fully commit to what truly matters. In our modern world, we're bombarded with demands on our time and attention. Social media, endless notifications and the constant pressure to be productive can all leave us feeling scattered and drained. Giving 100% means having the courage to say no to things that don't align with your values or goals so you can say yes to what really matters. This might mean setting boundaries at work, limiting your social media use, or being more selective about your commitments. It might mean disappointing some people in the short term, but by focusing your energy on what's truly important to you, you'll be able to show up more fully in the areas of life that matter most. Let's talk about learning and personal growth. In today's rapidly changing world, the ability to learn and adapt is more important than ever. Giving 100% to your personal growth means embracing a mindset of lifelong learning. This doesn't necessarily mean formal education, though it can be part of it. It means being curious, challenging assumptions, and always seeking opportunities to expand your knowledge and skills. When you give 100% to learning, you approach each day as an opportunity to grow. You ask questions, you seek out new experiences, and you're not afraid to be a beginner, make mistakes, or look foolish in pursuing knowledge. This attitude can transform your life in profound ways. It keeps your mind sharp and engaged. It opens up new opportunities in your career and personal life. It helps you stay adaptable in a changing world. And perhaps most importantly, it keeps life interesting and exciting. Now, let's return to the Stoic philosophy we discussed earlier. The Stoics emphasized the importance of living in accordance with virtue. But what does that mean in practical terms? Giving 100% to living virtuously means striving to embody qualities like wisdom, justice, courage and self-control in all your actions. It means doing the right thing even when it's difficult. It means being honest even when a lie might be more convenient. It means standing up for what you believe in even when it's unpopular. 
this isn't about being perfect. We all make mistakes, have moments of weakness, or fall short of our ideals. Giving 100% to virtue means acknowledging these shortcomings and striving to improve. When you commit fully to living with integrity, you build self-respect. You become someone others can count on. You create a solid foundation for all your other endeavors and you cultivate a deep sense of peace and satisfaction that comes from knowing you're doing your best to live in alignment with your values. Let's talk about resilience. Life will inevitably throw challenges your way. Giving 100% means developing the mental and emotional strength to face these challenges head on. Resilience isn't about never feeling down or discouraged. It's about how quickly you can bounce back, learn and grow from difficulties. When you give 100% to building resilience, you're investing in your ability to handle whatever life throws your way. This might mean developing healthy coping mechanisms for stress. It might mean cultivating a support network you can rely on in tough times, practicing mindfulness or other techniques to manage your thoughts and emotions. Building resilience also means reframing how you view challenges. Instead of seeing them as insurmountable obstacles, you can view them as opportunities for growth. This doesn't mean you have to like the difficult situations you face, but by giving 100% to facing them, you can often find the strength and wisdom you didn't know you had. Now let's address a common concern. What if I give 100% and still fail? This fear keeps many people from fully committing to their goals or dreams. The truth is that giving 100% doesn't guarantee success in the traditional sense. You might not get the job, win the competition, or achieve the goal you set out to accomplish. But here's the thing, when you give 100%, you never truly fail. Why? Because the act of giving your all is a success in itself. When you commit fully to something, you learn, you grow, you become stronger, more resilient, and more capable. These benefits remain regardless of the external outcome. Moreover, when you give 100%, you can look back without regret. You know you did everything in your power. This brings a sense of peace and self-respect that's far more valuable than any external measure of success. Remember too, that what looks like failure at the moment often turns out to be a stepping stone to something better. Many of the most successful people in various fields experienced significant setbacks before achieving their goals. The difference is, they kept giving 100% even when things didn't go as planned. Let's talk about the impact of giving 100% on your self-image and confidence. You start to see yourself differently when you consistently bring your full effort to your endeavors. You build trust in yourself. You know that no matter your situation, you can count on yourself to show up fully. This self-trust is incredibly powerful. It allows you to take on bigger challenges and step outside your comfort zone. When you know you'll give 100% no matter what, you're more willing to try new things and take calculated risks. Moreover, this attitude is noticeable to others. People are drawn to those who fully engage with life. They respect and trust individuals who consistently give their best effort. This can open up new opportunities in your personal and professional life. Lastly, let's consider the ripple effect of giving 100%. When you commit fully to living this way, you inspire others. Your actions speak louder than words, showing those around you what's possible when you engage fully with life. Think about the people in your life, your family, friends, colleagues, community members. How might your example influence them? By giving 100%, you're not just improving your own life. You're contributing to a culture of engagement, effort and integrity that can have far-reaching effects. As we near the end of our journey exploring the power of giving 100%, let's recap the main takeaways. Giving 100% is about effort, not perfection. 
It's about showing up fully in every area of your life, from work to relationships to personal growth. It's about embracing challenges, learning from setbacks, and focusing on what you can control. When you give 100%, you transform not just your results, but yourself. You become more resilient, more capable, more confident, and more fulfilled. You build a life of meaning and purpose based on your values, and you inspire those around you to do the same.